Welcome back to What Happened in Mountain Biking, Crankworks Rotorua Edition. There we go. The Crankworks World Tour is underway in Rotorua, kicking things off with the Rock Shocks Taniwa Downhill. After a rain-soaked qualifying practice, the finals were delighted by sunshine and some tacky dirt conditions, with a couple gnarly rut sections that would put riders rolling the dice for the best option. The women's downhill was all about the send, with Jess Blewett sending the big 60-foot gap to put her on the top step of the podium. Jenna Hastings would be the only other female to attempt the gap, and with a scary nosedive, was able to hold on to it and finish in second, just six seconds back of Jess. Shania Rawson on the enduro bike rounded out the podium in third, three seconds back of Jenna. In the elite men's, it was a tight battle with less than a second separating the top three. It would take till the last run to get your winner in Loic Bruni. The reigning downhill champ looked cool, calm, and collected in the final run of the day, coming out just on top over an impressive ride from Oliver Zwar on his new Canyon Collective FMD racing ride. Nico Malali rounded up the top three after being the only rider to successfully send the insane log gap in the middle of the course. Check out the full replay of the Rock Shocks to Niwa Downhill in the link in our description. Here we go. Up next was the official New Zealand Whip Off Championships. Canadian elite women Georgia Astle and Kirsten Van Horn made their debut appearance on a Crankworx Whip Off podium, coming in second and third place, while Crankworx Whip Off veteran Vinny Armstrong won first place with her signature style. Second Crankworx Whip Off event and a second time on the podium for Edgar Briel, but this time he took top step for the elite men. While the UK riders Chaos Seagrave and Cade Edwards put on a show for the fans taking second and third place. Here we go. From the Whip Off Championships, it was on to the Skyline Rotorua iconic Mr. Black Trail for the return of Air Downhill. And it was reigning Queen of Crankworks Caroline Buchanan taking the top spot by nearly two seconds over Louise Ferguson with the Rotorua local Jenna Hastings taking third. In the men's division, it was the veteran Mick Hanna laying waste to the trail and earning the top spot three seconds over the tight battle between reigning King of Crankworks Bass Van Steenbergen and Sam Blankensip, finishing with only one tenth of a second separating the two. Up next at Crankworx Rotorua was the Pump Track Challenge. In the Pump Track Challenge, riders are not allowed to have a chain on their bike, so the event focuses on technique and pump. In the women's, it was once again your queen, Caroline Buchanan, crushing it and taking the gold over the one other rider that beat her last year in the Pump Track Championships, Kealani Hines. While Jesse Smith was able to fight back in the brackets after qualifying seventh and claimed third in the bronze medal match over top qualifier Shania Ronson. Then in the men's division, it was the local boy Tohoto Riki Pene taking the gold medal with the win over the reigning UCI world champ Niels Benzink rocking the rainbow jersey. Tohoto was on fire in front of the New Zealand crowd doing different pumps and being the only one hitting certain gaps the entire night. Taking home third was the Aussie Jace Cunning barely besting the reigning king Bass Van Steenbergen by only two tenths of a second. The following day, it would be the fastest and the trickiest with speed and style. Okay. Last minute entry, Jenna Hastings would finish just barely off the podium with Martha Gill taking the win by only .016 of a second. This was definitely the closest battle on the hill. Here we go. Caroline Buchanan was looking to keep her gold medal streak alive, continuously putting down the fastest times of the day, but it was Robin Goom sending it on the style portion, throwing multiple flips on both runs to take the top spot. We also want to send out a shout out to Harriet Burbage Smith going down hard twice in her opening run. Super tough getting up from the first one and then continuing on with the run just to have another big get off. Luckily she was okay enough to keep competing throughout the weekend. The third place run in the men's was insane between Garrett Meacham and Tomas Lemoyne, with Garrett dropping a huge cork seven on the first hit in the second run. But the speed was on Tomas Lemoyne's side with Garrett's tricks just not being enough, finishing .129 seconds, giving Tomas the bronze medal. In the gold medal run, it was Mike Ross versus Cade Edwards. 
In the first run, Cade had the speed on lock until the flat turns at the bottom of the course gave him issues and would put him behind going into the final run. Second run had both athletes unleashing massive tricks with Cade putting down the faster time. But Mike Ross's tricks would give him the advantage and the gold medal with Cade taking second. Here we go. The final day of Crankworks Rotorua would start off with dual slalom racing. Women were up first and in the bronze matchup it was Shania Rawson versus Jenna Hastings. Shania would take the advantage after the first run by 0.85 seconds but would get a max penalty for hitting one of the gates in the flat turns and would put her 1.5 seconds down to Jenna. Shania wouldn't be able to recover from the deficit and Jenna would go on to take home the bronze medal. While facing off in the gold medal matchup was Harriet Burbage Smith and Martha Gill. Harriet was looking tough to beat, putting up the fastest times of the day, and the first run was no different, finishing it with a dominant 1.3 second advantage. Then drama would fly on the second run as Martha would miss a gate and Harriet would have a huge crash. All Harriet needed to do was get up and go through the gates, but after the crash, she got up and bypassed the gate as well. After what seemed like a while, official ruling would come down that both riders would be DQ'd and results would revert to the first run with Harriet taking the gold. In the men's division bronze medal matchup, it was Garrett Meacham versus Bass Van Steenbergen, with Garrett taking the advantage after the first run by only 0.17 seconds. Bass would come out firing in the second run and would be able to make up that deficit and take the third spot on the podium, winning by only 0.2 seconds. Then in the gold medal matchup, it was Jackson Fru versus the local and freshly crowned pump track champ, Tohoto Arike Penne. They were the first and second qualifiers and the local Penne would take advantage by a mere 0.12 seconds in the first run. With the small gap, both riders would come out firing and it was neck and neck up to the speed wall where Penne would lose traction. Jackson Frew would then go on to take the gold medal over the local. Here we go. With the first round of events complete, let's take a look at the standings for King and Queen of Crankworks. In the King of Crankworks standings, reigning King Bass Van Steenbergen leads the way with 247 points, with Tohoto Rike Penne in second, 23 points behind and Sam Blankenship in third with 190 points. And in the Queen of Crankwork standings, it's also reigning Queen Caroline Buchanan on top with 334 points, 44 points over second place Jenna Hastings, and Shania Rawson rounds up the top three with 240 points. It looks like last year's King and Queen are right on pace to try to retain their crowns this year. The final event of the week was the Maxis Slope Style in memory of Magaza, and the boys came out sending it. Tom Isaid would take bronze after a massive first run with both a clean cork 720 and a twister front cork 1080 mixed into a complete top to bottom run. Huge run for the Briton. The silver medal would go to David Godzik as he came out firing in his second run. A twister, tuck no hander, and a cash roll tail whip to wrap up his final run would put him just off the top step by a mere 0.25 points. But continuously pushing the competition, it was Emil Johansson taking another slope style gold. Emil's banger 360 bar to double down whip was insane. So much precision and technicality thrown into just one single jump. His runs are always packed with big tricks and style and this marks his 10th crankwork slope style win. Here we go. What do you think? Is anyone going to be able to slow Emil's pace or is he going to achieve his third triple crown this year? Leave a comment down below with your thoughts. Tons of action and insane competition at this year's Crankworks Rotorua. Riders putting everything on the line, so we're going to wrap up the video with our Don't Eat Shit Crash Reel.
thanks for watching another episode of what happened in mountain biking if you enjoyed this video make sure to hit that subscribe button click the bell so you get notified every time we release a new video also check out some of our other content we have monthly and event recaps how to's vlogs and much much more coming thank you guys for watching we'll see you next time